What's up, y'all? It's Corner Sports Net. Look, everybody's talking about the Derrick Henry stiff, stiff arm. Man, don't get me wrong. He's been doing that since he was in high school. Now, the one last night where he got Josh Norman, that was sick. Nasty. Yeah, but he's been doing that since high school. I mean, he got Earl Thomas in the playoffs. So that's, that's nothing new. It was nice, though. It was nice. Also, I'm happy for Le'Veon Bell. He signed with the Jets. Yeah, he got $35 million in guarantees. But Adam, G Adam Gates didn't, didn't like him from the jump. They couldn't work together from the jump, y'all. So now, even though, even though Le'Veon Bell fell off a little bit, but it's hard to say. They say he lost a step. He doesn't have the explosive, explosiveness. But playing for the Jets, everybody falls off. Like, you go there and your career is pretty much takes a back step, takes a back seat. So if Le'Veon Bell can go somewhere else, he can help somebody in the passing game. He can all, he got great hands. He can catch the ball at the backfield. He can be a situational back. Some team is going to get him real cheap for the rest of the season. Probably the Patriots. Or maybe the Bears. Or even maybe Miami. But he can help the football team. He's still a very good football player. It's just that when you go to the New York Jets, your career goes backwards. I mean, he's playing for Adam Gase, who didn't want him in the first place. And... Here we are, they cut him. So let's, let's see if Le'Veon Bell has anything left in them legs. He should, he should because he's 28 years old. He hasn't played much since he left Pittsburgh. But NFL players get old, y'all. They get old quick. So let's see if the Jets was right by releasing him or the Jets just a horrible franchise and Le'Veon Bell would be better off somewhere else and still has skills. This corner sports net talk to these guys later.